Port activities involve a whole set of entities and widely varied processes. From this fact comes the need for differentiated computer applications according to those entities and the purposes they seek to meet. If we focus only on ships and cargoes, we can see very briefly the essential parts of port activities. In one hand, there are the services to the ship with highlight to maneuvers, bunkering, crew care. And on the other hand, there are the services to the cargoes with highlight to loading, shipping and unloading, discharge, storage, reception, delivery, control procedures at the main gate, entrance, and transportation. Intrinsically linked to the whole process are the customs and the customs warehouses issues. To support this entire range of activities, we offer ports more than a dozen application modules. This video features the module 710, Ports Business. The bulk of this module is the preparation of proposals and the implementation of a contract with third parties, aimed at selling products, services related to port activities. Basically, anyone interested in shipping or discharging cargoes consisting of sets of goods begins by asking for a proposal budget. This module is aimed at supporting this process until the contract is made, and thus the proposal goes on to be accomplished by the production department. Our modules designed for ports implement the vision we have developed for and applied in logistics in general, and is based on the following basic concepts. Our modules designed for ports implement the vision we have developed for logistics in general, which is based on the following basic concepts. Operations, micro-operations, cargoes, batches of goods, logistics products, services. Operations consist of micro-operations and have batches of goods as their object. Port products and services are related to processes. Let us take a closer look at these concepts. Operations. Joint actions oriented to a particular operating purpose as requested by or linked to a third party. For instance, the shipment of a given cargo commodity upon request of an exporter. Micro-operations. Elements which operations consist of for the purpose of budgeting, planning, implementation, cost and billing. For instance, a loading operation may have as micro-operations Unloading, reception at park, covered parking, customs paperwork, transfer to berthing pier, ship loading, etc. Cargos, lots of goods sets of goods that are the subject of both operations and micro-operations and which, in the port scenario, are supposed to be embarked or disembarked. For example, rice, corn, cement, cars, fruit containers, etc. Port Products Services Products, logistic services necessary for the implementation of operations. Some are linked to micro-operations, such as code for the conservation of goods, tarpaulins to cover cargoes, wooden beams for strapping, parking days. Others are linked to goods in the sense that they reflect their handling, for example, row-row, light vehicles, the automobiles move by their own means, engine and driver. Bearing these concepts in mind, let us briefly address the base menu of this module. Here on the left, to access to 30 parties which we relate with and are of special interest to this module. 30 parties in general, which includes organizations, customers and suppliers. 
individual contacts at such organizations, employees, our employees. Here in the center is the part related to products and contracts. Products, types, families of products, and products. Contracts, not only contracts themselves, but their connections as well. Here called contract connections and also the relevant events associated with the history of the contract, from the beginning of its negotiation process to its signature, renewal, and so on. Finally, on the right, is the most specific part that shall be addressed in more depth in this video, the budget of operations from which proposals are to be sent, their respective micro-operations, the final production plan, for consultation purposes only, so the business department have a real feedback about what the proposal has effectively ex expressed. And associated with budgets and proposals are the catalog of micro-operations and the price system, which are essential for the construction, quality and profitability of the former. Let us take a look at more details of these facilities. Let us now focus our attention on the budgets of operations and their subsequent proposals for customers, whom the operations are oriented to. This is a way to work 100% on the web, in which budgets and proposals can be made from anywhere, anytime, and immediately sent to the customer, sent in PDF format or by informing him with a simple SMS that he can enter our customer portal view and print it in a self-service fashion, the proposal we have just made to him. Let us go straight to budgets proposals. By choosing this option, I have access to the criteria in order to build our work list. Let us choose one of our customers, shipdemo.org. And here are the latest budgets proposals for demo ship org. There is in here a shipment of general cargo with a remark indicating is a cargo of marble blocks. Discharge of fruit, palletized fruit, steel, steel rods, discharge of wooden poles, etc. Here on the right, there is a set of commands where an action related to this operation can be executed by simply clicking on it. Let us see what is about by using a help system and by placing the cursor on them. Move on to planning stage. Budget OK. Issue print. Sent to customer. Accepted by customer. Jump to Micro Operations, Jump to Initial Plan, Jump to Final Plan, Jump to Export Warehouse Plan, Generate a new budget. We shall illustrate the use of the following commands. Issue Print Proposal, Jump to Micro Operations, and Generate a new budget. Let us see now two or three proposals. These are fake proposals regarding third parties and prices, but are inspired on real cases from our experience. Here we see the proposal number 414, that's a very simple one, as we shall see. I click on it. I can immediately print it or generate a PDF file and send it. Also, as previously mentioned, the customer can, on the web and through his login and password, enter our portal for us to serve him as well as view and print this proposal in a self-service fashion. And what is there in here? Basically some micro-operations related to uncovered parking, along with prices broken down for the first two days, the following eight days, and so on. Here is the handling of the cargo. And towards the end, some micro-operations such as weighing, etc. Upon receiving this proposal, the customer learns how much the micro-operations for what he wants cost. 
In terms of workflow, I can, after issuing the proposal, send it to the customer and give it a sent status. Whenever the customer accepts it, I click on it to give it the proposal and accepted status. Then I can follow what's going on by checking how the production department deals with both the initial and final plans, and how and when the operation has been accomplished. Later, we shall move on to billing, whose module 715 will be object of another video, and this operation will come to an end in a successful manner as usual. Now I want to make a new proposal. Well, if it looks like this one, just click in here. Generate a new budget. A window will be opened. I state the information and other data in here. I also can say that I want one with a 10% increase. That's what I do. I click on the OK button in order to generate it. And here it is. The new proposal appears on the top of the list. The one with the number 419, which has a pending status so I can still work on it. I can, for instance, come here to micro operations and access them through a click. As you can see, there are the ones we had seen in the previous proposal. I could now make adjustments and delete or add some micro operations. Then, by clicking, I could move it on to the production department so as to be validated, get a ready status, be issued, etc., following the previously explained procedures. Well, I think we have provided you with an idea of how this tool works, and we finish this section by examining another proposal, one with many more items, in order for you to notice that we are well prepared to deal with real complex activities. Here we see a proposal number 400, that's about steel in general, namely steel rods. We have an immediate access to it by clicking on Issue Print. As we can see, there are many more items. Actually, there are 102 items. When I scroll the page down, going back to the top, we see some micro operations. Reception, landed cargo discharge, transfer from berthing pier to park terminal, direct discharge to trucks, discharge at park terminal, deliveries, sorting, etc. In short, a whole set of specialized micro operations about steel imports, in this case, steel rods. And that's it. We end this brief presentation on the budget of operations and their subsequent proposals. To be able to build solutions that best respond to requests from customers, it is critical to have a well-designed and prepared system. It is essential to promptly have a comprehensive catalog of micro-operations, so all operations can be composed from them in order to meet the customer's needs. Actually, micro-operations work like Lego bricks, with which we must construct all necessary operations. Our logistics customers rely on our long-term expertise to help build and improve their catalog of micro-operations. Here's an example of a catalog of micro-operations. Let us select the micro-operations that begin with 01. And here we have them. Landed cargo. Traffic from park to pier, direct cargo, semi-direct cargo, reception of indirect cargo, etc. Now, we will select the micro-operations that begin with 03. And here they are. Discharge at park, discharge with delivery at customer's premises, landing, lading, returns, etc. We believe that by using these new examples, 
it has become clear what the contents of the catalog of micro-operations for ports activities should look like. Another point that has to be properly designed and available is the price list. Not just a simple list of inflexible prices, a product with only one fixed price, but a system that allows to set prices for each product differently, thus meeting relevant business factors such as the cargo volumes at issue, the type and the customer at issue, specific contracts, the method and the urgency level while accomplishing a given task, and so on. Clearly, handling 10 units or 1,000 involves different unit prices. Prices for a large customer are different from prices for an occasional customer. Running the operation on a typical business day or on a public holiday, in which case the regular expenses related to work are also higher. Our pricing system answers all these questions. Here's an example. After logging in the price system, we ask for prices whose code starts with D. Here we see prices for general cargo of paper pulp. Direct cargo shipping discharge in 2004 direct cargo shipping discharge from 2005 on, and returns. And here we see the prices regarding general cargo for discharging paper pulp. Further down we can see prices for handling paper rolls, aluminum, fiber bales, marble blocks, steel rods, and so on. The architecture of products is extremely important for the types of organizations this module is aimed at. Our support system to the architecture of products, used in all modules, provides facilities to design and explore the architectures that bring together products, services, and general resources of the organization in one single base. It comprises four levels. Classes of products, types of products, products, and batches or lots. It provides a whole range of additional facilities such as duplicates and compositions, kits, and so on. For what matters, here let us address only the class of products related to batches of cargoes, goods, as explained above, and the class of products related to micro-operations. By accessing types of products, also referred to as families of products, we will filter the ones of the classes starting with P, which are the ones related to part products and services. Here they are. As we notice, there are two classes. The PC class, Ports Cargos, which is made up of services that reflect the handling of relatively homogeneous groups of commodities. And the PM class, Microoperations, which consists of products and services needed to accomplish operations and microoperations. Within the PC class are the families specifically related to general cargoes, containers, solid bulk, and row row vehicles. In order to see the PC class of services specifically related to general cargo, just click in here. Here they are. Note that although the names are close to the commodities listed, they are not commodities. For instance, the names paper rolls or steel rods do not refer in here to commodities themselves, but rather to shipping and or discharge services. We can do the same when it comes to containers. Here they are. The same for solid bulk. Here they are. and row-row vehicles. 
Here they are. Well, let us move now to other types of products and services more closely related to micro-operations, the ones of the PM class. Basic lifting equipment, cranes for instance, and transportation equipment. By clicking on General Transportation, we can see three items. Several types of manpower, labor, and here many types of part products and services specifically tailored to micro-operations related to certain types of cargoes. For example, we can see by clicking in here several items related to general cargoes, from wheel loaders to lumber, etc. And with this, we think we have sufficiently shown the subsystem of products regarding the types, families, and their respective products. Another subsystem which is very significant in terms of organizations is contracts. However, we will not address this theme in depth. There is a particular video on contract management in which the subsystem of contracts is addressed in depth. Let us just bring up the issue in terms of its importance to this module. We are looking now at the menu options related to contracts, but let us just get into types of contracts to illustrate the variety of contracts that may be of interest to be registered and controlled. Let us see. Contracts for water supply, which is important for ships, rental, communications, electricity, leasing, ship repairs, port calls, etc. The variety, the variety is huge, and it is, and it is important to control, to control many of these contracts, contracts not, not only in terms of their basic registration, which includes, which includes the possibility of connecting them to actual digitalized, digitalized contracts, but also, but also in terms of control of deadlines and values. Third parties, Third parties and other contracts associated with them, historical, historical events related to negotiations, to renewals, etc., Billing, billing and payments, and payments associated with contracts. contracts. But, but, as we, as we said before, before deepening this issue, issue is not the object of this video. video. Budgets and proposals are the starting point for all subsequent activities that we call production. The production, the production department, and the production staff sometimes interfere with the elaboration of budgets. For that matter, we saw that there was a command to move the budget under preparation on to the production department. They will examine the budget from the technical point of view, especially if they are taking all micro-operations into consideration in order to achieve the objective in sight. Then, it returns the budget validated from a technical point of view. Actually, the production department, from the time the budgets are forwarded to them, either to be validated or executed, can visualize everything that the business department can, except the prices. All the production activity will be deepened in the video on the module 720, Parts Planning. Here, we just want to emphasize that the business department can monitor its proposals at production stage in order to keep itself informed and learn to improve its budgets in the future, and also to give any feedback to the billing department. Note that the first thing that is done at the planning stage when an operation to be performed gets there is associating to that operation a factual batch of cargoes, or goods, that will be handled by the operation. From this results the so-called initial plan, usually many days before the actual accomplishment of the operation. Approaching the operation date, the planning department generates the final plan, which includes the necessary adjustments to the initial plan, 
and which is what is actually going to be performed and built. As we can see here, the business process ends up by passing the accomplishment of what has been negotiated on to the planning stage. The initial plan and then the final plan are elaborated at the planning stage, moving on to the phase of implementation of micro-operations. The corresponding batches of cargoes goods are recorded in connection with the initial plan. Those batches shall form the basis for all operations with cargoes, namely berthing maneuvers, parking operations, and operations at the main gate entrance. Everything concerning planning shall be addressed in the video about the module 720 Ports Planning. The part regarding the implementation of operations shall be treated in the modules 730 Ports Dock Operations and 740 Ports Stocks Parking. As for billing, the subject is seen in depth in the video about the module 715. Ports billing. Here we just want to emphasize that it is integrated and automatically generated based on the proposals and on the implementation of the final plan. It meets the latest legal requirements, including those posed by the certified invoicing in Portugal and by the electronic invoicing in Brazil. After transactions have been completed, which means the final plans are complete and identified as such, they move on to the billing stage. There is a preparation stage in which the micro-operations are valued based on the proposed values and cargo volumes as well as other considerations such as parking times, refrigeration servicing, and so on. This stage ends when invoicing values are approved. The automatic generation of invoices follows next, then its automatic accounting process, and finally its printing and dispatching, bearing in mind that the printing and dispatching can be fully electronic, that is, dematerialized, as long as the We have presented in this video the module 710, Parts Business, along with the necessary details for a first assessment by your organization. It should be emphasized that the implementation can be carried out in stages, taking into consideration, for instance, only the stage regarding the issuance of proposals. In this context, we remind you that the dialogue can be deepened so we can better analyze our needs and our answers to them. We and the network of partners that we integrate are fully prepared to listen to and support you.